Happy Thanksgiving, y'all. Today we're gonna give you our version of Thanksgiving. We're in Florida and we are just craving some Thanksgiving food. And if you're wondering where we're camping at, we are camping outside of Jacksonville, Florida, close to the beach at Hannah Park. And never in a million years would I thought I would spend Thanksgiving by the beach. In Florida. In it's Florida. so crazy. We have all these palm trees around us. It's really nice. I bet y'all are wondering, what is that pumpkin for that Kelly put in the oven just a second ago? Well, it's been 30 minutes mm -hmm. and what are you making angel princess pumpkin pie so this is my version of pumpkin pie a lot of people don't use fresh pumpkin but to me it is the taste the best it tastes really fresh and it's healthy for you it's been a long time since i've made this pumpkin pie probably three years maybe possibly yeah sounds about right but we were able to pick up a new Dutch oven and we're gonna be using the fire outside to do the turkey. Some of y'all told us we needed to cook Cornish game hen and then others said that we needed to cook duck. We've never cooked duck before. We're really afraid to, to take that route. And Kelly doesn't like duck that much. I love duck whenever I've had it prepared by other people. She's never really cared for it. I think it's an acquired taste. However, we saw this turkey breast that we're gonna get, which is somewhere right there. And it's just the breast. It has no wings, it has no legs, and it was really small. And I was like, that's what we need right there. Yeah, because anything else I think would have been way too much for us. All right, so I scooped that into the bowl and we're gonna let that cool off before I add anything else to it. All right, let's go outside. Now we've got to make some cranberry sauce. I like to make homemade cranberry sauce. I, lo I like the canned sauce, but I know there's probably like a lot of preservatives and a lot of stuff in there that we don't need. So I like to make cranberry sauce fresh with fresh cranberries and I've got some oranges, some honey, and we have to make it first because it has to sit in the refrigerator and get chilly before we eat it. So I've got three oranges and I'm just gonna hope this skillet's gonna get up. Oops. I'm just gonna get the juice out of them. Oh my God, I'm getting that everywhere. We're getting squirted, y'all. Sorry about that. <laughs> Looks good. I don't even know if that worked very well. This is the only uh, juicer I have, sir. That's gonna get us. Can we do it for you? I don't know what I'm doing. I got it. I got big hands. I think the oranges were too big for your juicer. They are, they always are, but I don't have any other juices. Can we do the next one? Yeah, yeah I was gonna cut it. Okay. And these aren't even Florida oranges. They didn't have any. They didn't have any Florida oranges in like, the grocery store in Florida. <laughs> so these are California oranges. California oranges in Florida. So once I heard a truck driver tell us that he bought, picked up a truckload of oranges in California, brought them here, and then picked up a truckload here when he got here, Florida oranges and went back to California with it. How crazy is that? Oh, I would have it. to say, just let California have their oranges. Yeah. Next, we're gonna add in orange zest. I need this to be heated up. All right, in goes the honey. Hopefully we can get it all in there. Everything's boiling. Last thing we need to throw in are the cranberries. We're just gonna let these simmer until they burst and everything mixes together. Looks like our cranberry sauce is done. There's still a couple of uh, 
berries that didn't burst all the way, but that's okay if you like texture. Now, if you want your cranberry sauce a little sweeter, you can just add brown sugar or regular sugar, whatever you have on hand. But we're gonna have a lot of sweet things with the pumpkin pie and we're making sweet potatoes. So we're just gonna leave it natural. And we're a little upset about something. We were sitting here talking and we forgot one of our favorite things and Kelly does such a bomb diggity job at making it. Stuffing. Dressing. Dressing. Yeah, because we don't stuff it. Yeah. But yeah, I usually make a really good dressing. Oh, I cannot believe I forgot about it, but I don't have enough stuff to make it. We completely forgot about the dressing. And if you want, we did a Thanksgiving vlog three years ago, four years ago, and she made mm -hmm. stuffing then. Oh, we'll put it in the link below. It was mwah, so good. It's always so good. Oh, I love my stuffing. Or yeah. dressing is what dressing. I call it. Call it stuffing, but. but in that vlog, she didn't make pumpkin pie or homemade uh, No, I didn't make the homemade cranberry sauce. Yeah, I haven't made this. Or did I make this at Christmas? Usually with the family at Christmas, I'll make this as well. So, you know, you gotta weigh your options. Pumpkin Plus, pie it's or... just the two of us. So it's like, how much can we eat? Y'all know we eat a lot, but we can't eat that much. Well, we can <laughs> have Leftovers, have leftovers then. Yeah, we can. We can. We we'll probably will anyway. This is done. We're gonna let it cool off before we put it into a bowl. We're gonna go in and finish the pumpkin pie. So we have our pumpkin here, and we have to add the things. Is that on? Yeah. I bought this pie crust. I know I could have made homemade, but whew, honestly, a real big old homemade everything Thanksgiving is like a two-day. Yeah, task. you gotta start like the day before. Okay, I just wanted to take that off. Okay, we got two eggs. Whoops. Not the shell, just the egg. Salt, ginger, clove, and we have cinnamon. Smells good. Now this is what goes into a lot of the pumpkin stuff. So if you like pumpkin, it's because of clove, nutmeg, and cinnamon, right? Mm -hmm. Those are the things that are fallish. If I ever talk about fallish smells or flavors, <laughs> it's those things that really make it fallish, holidayish. That's the word That's I use. That's your word. That's my word, holidayish. All right, now we got the brown sugar. For people new to the channel, my two favorite desserts in the world is pumpkin pie and carrot cake. What about pecan pie? Oh. Oh, I forgot about the compound. Now we're gonna gradually add in the milk while I'm mixing. A tear might actually come down my cheek whenever I have a bite of this later because yeah, it has been be so, so long. There it is. Yes, it is one pie. Yep, oh, that's some uh, oh, that's gonna just crystallized. Good crystallized chunks <laughs> of sugar. That is the okay. most beautiful thing I've seen besides you, honey. I'm gonna leave it here while the oven heats up. Okay. I'm gonna try not to spill it. And we're gonna put it in the oven. And she bakes. That was really stressful. But we need to wash all these dishes up and I have no clue. This guy is a, he's a metal detector. Right on. Since we don't have any kind of container to help continue de thawing the turkey breast, look how small it is. Well, that's a lot of meat actually. We're going to use a sink to continue the process. It's going to take a lot of water. Good thing we have uh, water hooked up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On the bright side. <laughs> On the bright side. And we do have septic cook up. All right. We're just gonna let that sit in there for about an hour because we let it sit for about 24 hours in the refrigerator to try to de-thaw it. And I think this, about an hour, might, uh, might help finish it off. Keeping the fire going so that we can make sure that we have hot coals to do the turkey. And we're doing the turkey in a Dutch oven. Like I said earlier, we got a new Dutch oven. This one right here, it's an Ozark Trails. Now this is the same thickness as the one that we had before we had the lodge. Well, the lodge is just so tall, takes up so much room, and it takes longer to cook things in it, in it because of its volume. We personally do like this Ozark Trails more because of the height. We haven't seen a lodge be as shallow 
as the Ozark trails. I'm sure that Lodge does make those, but we've never seen one available. But it looks like it's time for the pumpkin pie to come out of the oven. Yeah, the timer just went off. So let's check it and make sure that it is done. I think it is. <laughs> well, I don't know, it might be kind of jiggly. Let me check it. Mm. You want your knife? to come out clean in the center, and this one did not. So we're gonna put it back in. I went ahead and bumped the heat up a little bit since this is um, a different kind of oven. So I bumped the heat up and we're gonna stick it back in. I'm just gonna time it. What do you think? 15, 10, we'll let's do say 15. 10. Okay. 10, yeah, let's do 10. So now it's time to prepare the turkey. Kelly already did some of the uh, I seasonings. did free stuff. We're doing a herbed butter, so I've got thyme and fresh thyme and rosemary chopped up in here. Plus, we're gonna put sage, thyme, rosemary, lemon in the uh, cavity. Had to think about what it was. We call that, y'all, a brain fart. <laughs> like Kelly said, that is a lot of meat. It is. And I'll eat it all. <laughs> Okay, what are you doing, honey? All right, so I've got some carrot, some celery, and an onion. So if you can lift that up. Yeah, on it. All right, we're gonna throw in celery, carrot, lemon, onion, rosemary. You can put rosemary on anything and it already smells like it's amazing. Sage. Sage, let's sage it up. And then thyme. 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 All right, and salt and pepper. Break from the turkey because the pumpkin alarm just went off. Like, dear Lord, Betsy, can you be done now? Well, this is the third yeah. time we've pulled this out. Yes. I'm gonna call it money. I'm gonna call it done, I think. Yeah. Yeah, so pretty. Oh, she's not very flat now. And butter, I'm trying to get it soft. This is the butter we're putting on the turkey. Yeah. And if you're wondering what's going on here, essential oils with a little holiday ish flavor. So we have our thyme and rosemary in here. So are we going to be putting that on the turkey and I'm going to rub it in? Yes. Or just let it... Rub it in. Rub it in. Rub it in. All right, we've got our herb butter. It's kind of thickened up now, hasn't it? Yeah, that's okay. And now I'm going to rub this in when you got it on there. Yes. Massage. Kelly's a little upset. I haven't given her a massage yeah, in a while. You have given the bird a massage, but not me. Yeah. Hey, one day, your birthday's coming up soon. Oh. December 24th, she's a new, uh, Christmas Eve baby. Matter of fact, Christmas Day, her dad brought her home in a stocking. Isn't that cool? <laughs> they still have the stocking. That's our, my Christmas stocking. That's your Christmas stocking? Is the That's one you were brought home in? Yes, they've been using it forever. That is crazy. So we'll just rub this in, massage it. And honey, do you see this action right here? You're gonna be getting some of that. Look at that. Looks like half of it's on your finger. <laughs> There you go. So me rubbing it in was a bad idea. You got some right there. I'll get it off. Teamwork makes the dream work. I got so much on my it's just, fingers. It's going to melt. All okay, right. That's good. I'm going to clean my hands off and then get this on the fire. Get everything ready for the turkey. I'm going to let this turkey cook until the internal temperature is about 165, give or take. And once we get a little bit of hot coals that we can pull out, We'll throw some on top, but as of right now, we're just gonna let it cook from the bottom. I think that should work. We got some hot coals, gonna be able to throw those on. Okay guys, it's potato time. So we're making some sweet potatoes. The first thing we have to do is bake them. So we're gonna bake them. Turn the timer on. I'm gonna go, I've got 400. Let's do 20 minutes to start with. The fire's looking pretty good, getting a little choked up here <coughs> but I my eyes are burning my eyes are burning Let me see it. okay but what's really good about this is it smells just like the turkey we we smoked the, <coughs> the smoker 
that bottom might be pretty burnt though, yeah. all them flames. <laughs> This is an all-day process. We're probably on four hours of cooking stuff right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I got to show you all my new toy. This here is handier than pockets on a shirt. Literally. It has a little sleeve like a pin. And it's a thermometer. Ah! So whenever we go to check the turkey, we want to turn this bad boy on. I haven't used it yet. And uh, it's 68 degrees right now, 67, Ooh, 66. Temps. Good temps out here. It is nice. And then whenever I'm done, I just slide it back. <laughs> Handier than pockets on her shirt, tell you what. And it fits in a pocket. He's so proud of that. When we saw that at the grocery store, oh, he was so proud. Oh, I was geeking out. I was geeking out. I'm a simple guy. I like simple things and this is nice. All right, I just cut some fresh green beans. I cut the stems off the end, cut the ends off and then cut them in half. And I'm gonna saute them in salt, pepper, and olive oil. But before we start the green beans, I think it's getting pretty close on the turkey. Kelly keeps calling it chicken. I, I don't know why y'all. So I know I'm using our little steak, our little handy dandy cast iron holder is back at Kelly's parents' house because we didn't think we could carry a cast iron. And now that we bought the smaller one, it fit in a very nice location. So we might be able to continue using a Dutch oven, cast iron Dutch oven, by fire. Y'all ready? I'm ready. 160. Turn this on. Looks good. It smells good. How do I work this thing? Power. I don't think you have to hold it on. So, one... 40, 151, it is 153. And it needs to be 160? 160. Okay. A little bit longer then. Yeah. I mean, it's it's almost there. I'm gonna check this one real quick. I don't know, this one's 167. Yeah, I might not have 168. Let's go and take it off then. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and take that off. It's juicy as all get out. This one here is one, yeah, it's good, it's ready. What do you want to do with it, honey? All right, so we're going to take it off the fire. We're going to leave it in the cast iron, set it aside, and let it just stay warm. Maybe cook a little bit more internally. I've got to finish the potatoes. Set it right here? Yeah, put the lid on it. Okay. Now that the turkey is done, we are going to make the sweet potatoes. And Kelly asked, y'all want walnuts or pecans? Y'all, yeah, pecans. He loves pecans. Pecans. So we're going to use pecans. All day long, every day of the week. Give it on Sunday. So what I'm gonna do, put you on, is chop these up. Not super fine, but we're putting them on top of the potatoes. So mm. you want them a little smaller. I'm not even gonna be biased. I'm gonna say the truth. Pecans are the best nut in the world. They really are. They really are. They're soft. They're sweet, they're flavorful. Walnuts are fun, but they're just fun. They're not as good as a pecan. Got some brown sugar. And my butter's been sitting out, so I'm hoping it's red. Yeah, it's pretty good room temperature. All right, let's get these beans going. We're gonna salt and pepper and oil. cha-ching but now kelly said the potatoes are ready right honey yes so what we're doing is i baked them and i'm going to scoop it out and put it in this bowl so we're going to put some greek yogurt in here some maple syrup some brown sugar pumpkin pie spice Beans, we go check the beans real quick. Please. On it, beans, bean check. Okay, let's check these bad boys. Oh, oh, they're fine. And what's up? Uh, this didn't really work out how I wanted. I wanted to bake them again in these skins, but I'm gonna have to do something different. What happened with the skins? They all, they fell apart. And they're oh. stuck to the thing, so. Yeah. The cool thing about Kelly's ability to cook is when something goes awry, she adapts and she overcomes. I have an idea, an idea. I need that pan here. Pan there. And this, we got some scissors. Oh, 
Oh, I see what you're doing. Okay, okay. I'm just making it so I don't have to clean this up. I'm picking up what you're putting in. I guess it's just going to be kind of a, a casserole-ish thing. And you're going to put that back in the oven? Yes. I'm going to put the toppings on it. So, a uh, pecan that I did. Oh, it's right here? Yeah, and it's going to go back in the oven for a minute. Yeah, that worked out great. Yes, Nick, <laughs> my father-in-law. I know you're watching and you're probably wondering, where are the marshmallows? <laughs> No marshmallows on this one. But for Christmas, I'll promise we'll do one with marshmallows. Sorry, Nick. All right, let's fold that and put that up. We're done with that. All right. We're done with the salt and pepper, unless we need it for dish, but we shouldn't. Done with the oil. Dude, that's really a lot of seasonings. Yeah, cook a lot. All right, y'all, it sounds like the green beans are sizzling. So here's the finished product of the sweet potatoes. So we got the green beans, we got that going down, and this amazing turkey. This turkey, phenomenal, phenomenal. You want some carrots or anything? No. Okay. All dishes are clean, including us. And it's time for the pumpkin pie to star of the show. By the way, the turkey really was top notch. Uptown high rent. All right. <laughs> oh, came out a little better. Oh, there's the picturesque one. First one never comes out perfect. Yeah, the crust is kind of falling back. Where's that whipped cream at, honey? Now, normally I would make real whipped cream, but no time for that. And I usually used to use my KitchenAid mixer and I don't have that anymore. Yes, and honey, you can have the pretty one. I'll take this um, okay. neglected one. It's good. Yeah, it's good. It's real good. Mm. It's real good. Mm. Kelly knocked it out of the park on this one. And I am so thankful on Thanksgiving that I have an angel princess like her to be able to cook delicious stuff like this. Aww. I'm thankful to have a husband like you. <gasps> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Man, it's so sweet. We want to wish all of you a happy Thanksgiving, though, and we'll catch you on the other. See ya.